I've just returned from uh, a few weeks in Africa where we were organizing some workshops, firstly in Dakar, Senegal, for the West African French-speaking Francophone countries, and then in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia for the Eastern and Southern African countries on the global negotiations on climate change. The meetings brought together, in each case, about a dozen countries' representatives uh, a mix of the negotiators who go to the international negotiations and also some of the representatives from ministries of finance and planning who perhaps haven't engaged with climate change in the past and the idea was for them to get to understand what the importance of the climate change negotiations were. Both workshops went very well, we got a lot of good feedback and we um, were able to uh, see that the level of awareness about climate change in Africa has uh, gained strength quite considerably. And then just last, in the last few days, there's been a heads of state level meeting in Addis Ababa, uh, chaired by the Prime Minister uh, of uh, Ethiopia, where about a dozen uh, heads of state from African countries turned up and they discussed climate change. And they've come out with a, a particularly strong message. It's the first time the heads of state have really engaged with the climate change issue in Africa, which is a good sign. And several of them have uh, uh, committed themselves to attending both the UN Secretary General's summit meeting in New York on the 22nd of September as well as going to Copenhagen in December. Um, the good thing is that the African countries now seem to be engaged at a much higher political level than they have been so far. So far within Africa there's been a, a, a generally less um, level of awareness about the climate change issue. It's been left to the technical negotiators who can, who've been getting better at their job, but uh, the decisions are much higher level than those negotiators can make, and it requires higher level ministers and you need heads of state uh, to get engaged with this issue. And we have several of them from Africa now uh, being engaged. So look out for the voice of the African continent in the negotiations going forward.